Hello, welcome to China Medical Tourism. When we refer to the heating television drama, the suspected blood in 1980s, we would think of the poor heroine who died from leukemia instantly. But this tragedy only happened in the 1980s. Is leukemia that terrifying now after the rapid development in medical tourism? Today, we will go to a cancer hospital in China Medical Tourism to find out how they cope with leukemia in the hematology department. The leukemia is one of the 10 highest prevalence malignant tumor in China, according to the rate of 3 to 4 in each 100,000 person. In pediatric malignant tumor, the leukemia is also the most common one, increased by the number 30,000 to 40,000 patients per year. The leukemia was once regarded as a deadly disease, but now, thanks to the fast-growing medical technology, it can totally be cured if detected in time. In fact, the symptoms of leukemia are not specific, and the patients may suffer from different manifestations. Some may lack like cold, some may act like anemia, and some patients just develop certain and obtrusive small blood dots on the skin. That's why people would pay no attention to the danger in the initial stage. Most patients choose not to see the doctors until severe bleeding occurs, and the fever cannot be gone under antibiotic. In recent 20 years, as the methods of treatment become more and more various, especially for the popularization of the intensive chemotherapy, the transplantation of the hemopoietic stem cells, and the target therapy. More than half of the acute leukemia patients can be cured or keep a long life. With so many leukemia patients in hospital got well controlled after receiving some treatment stages. We have a patient coming for his high fever and bleeding. His x-ray field shows that it has existed too much leukocyte in his blood. Then the following result of bone biopsy and the immunophilotype also prove that he got the acute non-lymphoblastic leukemia. At first, we were tempted to arrange the therapeutic blood cell apheresis for him, but due to his low level of platelet, we had to give up. Instead, we injected the cytosine arabinocyte from the previous night to decrease the leukocyte number. He is lucky enough to have the leukocyte decrease from over 200,000 to nearly 100,000 in three days. The hospital receives as many lymphoma patients as leukemia, and most patients are satisfied with the outcome. Dr. Lee told me not to worry and keep an optimistic attitude. This disease is curable, and it does not only happen overseas. China also has the ability to solve it in previous cases. I felt far better after the second and third stage of treatment. The health indicators would return normal after receiving two stages of treatment. Then we added seven more resformant stages to her. Maybe it's too early to say her lymphoma is totally cured. However, we observed to find out that the possibility of recurring is quite low. Generally speaking, the lymphoma should recur after a half a year's drug withdrawal. But this patient did not have any recur in two years since stopping the treatment. What's more, Dr. Lee told us that the mentality of the patient has a lot to do with his immunity. So those keeping a relaxed attitude should have greater effect than those with heavy mental burden in the treatment. The mentality does have relation with one's immunity. What a doctor can do is not only to make a sound and safe therapy, but also to help with the patient keep a fun attitude so that they can receive the whole treatment. This is what we are department values and pursues. The cancer hospital adopts the intensive chemotherapy in the treatment. 
Then one question will be raised: whether the intensive chemotherapy may cause side effects or not. A therapy can be compared to a warfare. When the number of the enemy is small, you can fight with them with less power. But when the enemy has in the kill, you have to increase the weapon and the power to reach them. It is the same principle in the final stage of the chemotherapy. We know the details are critical, so we worked hard on each, including we enjoined the patient to drink more water. How much he should have urinated, all his underpants should be changed to clean every day, and the furniture in his room should be disinfected every day. These details should not be neglected, and we do care about them in this hospital. Apart from this. The implementation of supportive treatment and controlled blood loss are the are the important guarantee to the success of of the lymphoma and leukemia. Doctor Lee's treatment proves to be so right that give me a sense of rebirth.